In Warsaw, police has raided president of Poland's palace and arrested Maciej Wąsik and Mariusz Kamiński, two top opposition party politicians responsible for fighting corruption since 2005. According to witnesses, both politicians were escorted out of the building and delivered to a police station. Monday, Warsaw District Court issued an arrest warrant for those two people. In 2015, they were charged for abuse of power while fighting a high-level corruption. In November that year, President Andrzej Duda used his power of clemency and clean them from all charges. Last year, Warsaw District's court ignored the president's pardon and issued two years in prison verdict. One chamber of Supreme Court supported the president's clemency, while another is due to deliver a verdict on December 10th. Monday, Speaker of Sejm Szymon Hołownia said the situation surrounding the expiry of the mandates of Mariusz Kamiński and Maciej Wąsik does not guarantee that the same sessions will be peaceful. The emotions that have been created make it unlikely that we will be able to sensibly work on the budget, because everyone's head is warm. Will it be different next week? I don't know. Maybe it will be different. Maybe it won't. The Speaker's decision came up as a surprise, because the same has to pass the budget bill by the end of month, so there is a little time left. Coalition majority, because it was probably Prime Minister Tusk's decision, proves they are in panic. Indeed, the decisions that were made led the parliamentary majority to hit a wall. It is already clear that passing the budget without MPs Wąsik and Kamiński could make the bill illegal, and therefore the President will be able to dismiss the same. TV Republica reporter asked the same speaker about his criminal liability for interfering in the work of the Supreme Court. In example, which chamber and which composition should deal with the case of Mr. Wąsik and Kamiński. I have absolutely no fear of criminal liability in connection with the decisions taken by the Speaker in this matter. I want to draw your attention to the fact that the actions I'm taking only confirm the decisions already made by the courts. In 2015, the President used the law of clemency against uh, Mariusz Kamiński and Maciej Wąsik for the actions of the services of the so-called land scandal. Despite the amnesty law and three rulings by the Constitutional Tribunal, the District Court of Second Instance it sentenced the MPs to two years imprisonment in December last year. A warrant for their arrest was issued yesterday. Małgorzata Paprocka, Minister of the President's Office, stressed that if the MPs go to prison, they will be the first political prisoners since 1989. Leaving aside the personal situation of the two deputies, this decision is dramatic from the point of view of the state. Such far-reaching legal uncertainty is devastating for the Polish state. Criminal law textbooks for students do not exclude the possibility that the president may exercise the power of pardon before the sentence becomes final. We cannot rely on the opinions of lawyers who say that the right of clemency can only be applied to sentences that have already been passed, because we have never had such a situation. We are talking about the constitutional prerogative of the President of Poland. The President of Poland can use the right of clemency against any citizen at any time, of course, if there are appropriate grounds for this. President Andrzej Duda invited Maciej Wąsik and Mariusz Kamiński to the Palace, they took part in the ceremony of appointing Błażej Poboży and Stanisław Żarin as advisors to the President of the Republic of Poland. This morning the police received a court order to arrest the MPs. If this situation continues, we are heading towards a totalitarian state. A grim dictatorship is being formed. We cannot allow political prisoners in Poland. We appeal to all Poles for solidarity.